So our share and show for 7.9, we are on page 436 um, and we are going over number five and number seven. If you have problems or difficulties with some of the other numbers, pay close attention to how I saw five and seven and that might help you with um, maybe number three or number six. So make sure even if the numbers that you struggled with are not here, these are still going to help you. So for number five, we have one and one fourth plus one and one fourth plus two and three fourths. First thing I want to do is change my order. Remember, I'm using the commutative property to change my order. So I can put these numbers in any order I want. I'll still keep where the group is. I want it to group together the first two numbers, but I'm going to keep one and one fourth, but I know that I can add one fourth and three fourths, and that's going to give me a whole. So I'm going to switch out. Um, I'm going to switch one and one fourth and I'm gonna switch that with two and three fourths because it doesn't matter what order I add these in. And that means I need to add one and one fourth at the end. Now, I have to think, do I need to use the associative property? In this case, my grouping is actually already good to go. So I don't even need to use the associative property. The only property I needed to use for number five was a commutative property. So now I'm gonna add my fractions first. So one fourth, plus three-fourths equals four-fourths. We know that same top and same bottom, same um, denominator and numerator, that's going to get me one whole. And now I add these whole numbers together. I'll put one down first just be so I don't forget it. And then it looks like I had the whole number one and the whole number two. So one plus one plus two, that equals four. I am not finished though, because remember, I need to make sure I add what's outside of this first group. So I'm gonna add four plus one and one fourth, and I'm going to add my whole numbers first. So I have five, and then my fraction one fourth left. Again, I went through, I started with a commutative property, so I changed my order, and I flip-flopped the two and three fourths and the one and one fourth. And then I looked inside my group. I liked the group I had, so I didn't have to use any, I didn't have to change anything else. I added my fractions first, one fourth plus three fourths. That got me four fourths, which was equal to one. I took that one and I added it to the other whole, whole numbers that are inside this grouping. I added one plus two plus that one. I got four and then I added that final mixed number, four plus one and one fourth equals five and one fourth. Let's check out number seven. Number seven says three twelfths plus one and eight twelfths plus nine twelfths. So again, the first thing I wanna think about is, do I wanna order these numbers in any specific way that would help me when I'm adding them together? So do I wanna change the order or use the commutative property? Well, I know that three plus eight equals 11. And I know that three plus nine equals 12. My denominator is 12, so I'd rather have a numerator that's the same as my denominator, because then I know it's just gonna be equal to one. So I want this three twelfths next to this nine twelfths. So I'm gonna change the order by starting with three twelfths plus nine twelfths plus one and eight twelfths. Now I'm looking at this grouping and it's still because both of these numbers are inside the parentheses. that means I would add 9 twelfths plus 1 and 8 twelfths, but I don't want to do that. I want to start by adding 3 twelfths plus 9 twelfths, which would be the associative property. So I want to use my associative property to change what group I'm starting with. Then, once I finish adding 3 twelfths plus 9 twelfths, then I'll add my other mixed number, which is 1 and 8 twelfths. Well, in my head, very quickly, I know that 3 plus 9 equals 12, so I know that 3 twelfths plus 9 twelfths equals 12 twelfths, and I know that 12 twelfths is equal to one whole. So I know that if I cross this out and write one whole. I know that one plus one